My goodness, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald, what are you doing here? Did you forget you've been barred from seeing Sheridan? Let me tell you something. You should be behind bars for what you've done to Sheridan. I don't understand. Won't you look at her? Won't you look at her? She looks horrible. Sheridan, can you hear me? Please. Why don't you just leave her alone, all right? Dr. Ackland knows what he's doing. Your brother's right. And I'm afraid I must ask you to leave now. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Hey, I'm not going anywhere until I find out what you and Alistair are doing to Sheridan. You know what? It's none of your business, Felice. You know, I want him out of here now. Would you look at her, Antonio? Look, are you going to tell me that you love her and you're not going to tell me that something's wrong? Sharon, are you right? What the hell have you done to her, Alistair? What the hell have you done to Sheridan? You call Dr. Ackman? This man is causing a disturbance, threatening both Dr. Ackman and myself. Get him out of this hospital and escort him off the grounds immediately. But he's a cop. Just do it. Can't let him do this, Antonio. Sheridan needs your help. She's my wife. I can take care of her. You're no match for Alistair. My son-in-law and I both want what's best for Sheridan. You liar. I'll get Sheridan out of here, you know. Sheridan, I'll get you out of here. No! <laughs> <laughs> You look beside yourself. I just came from the hospital. I was getting into it with Antonio over Sheridan when suddenly she's wheeled out on a gurney. A gurney? Sam, she looked half dead. She was in terrible pain. My God, what happened? That's what I'd like to know. I, the lights flickered, I heard a scream, and then Sheridan was wheeled out. What does Antonio think? Uh, you know, he's convinced that uh, Dr. Acklin and Alistair are looking out for Sheridan's best interests, so he just goes along with everything they say. Excuse me, Alistair is in on this? Yeah. Oh, that's not good, Luis. That's not good at all. I agree. I know, okay? Well, look, I know that Sheridan has had some problems, but there's no way that she, she needs to be locked up in a psych ward, okay? Look, I'm telling you, I got a good mind to go back in there later, guns blazing, and break Sheridan the hell out of there. Luis, you can't go in like the cavalry and break Sheridan out of a psych ward. We're officers of the law. We don't operate like that. Well, I'm gonna do something to get her out of there. Well, isn't there some other way? Ethan filed some legal motion. It's called a review of procedure. Okay, what's that? Sheridan's doctor has to defend her being isolated and contained, but everything else. Good for Ethan. Yeah, our son is a really good lawyer. If anybody can get her out, Ethan can. Well, yeah, but this could take weeks. All right, and that's if we can find a judge who isn't in Alistair's back pocket, and I just don't think Sheridan can make it. Look, Luis, I know you and Antonio have had your differences, but your brother genuinely loves Sheridan. He would never let anything happen to her. Sam. Look, he's the one who had her committed in the first place, not to mention the fact that he goes along with everything that Alistair says. Well, Luis, I don't like the sound of that. And neither do I. Well, what the hell is Alistair doing there? What, he's got an interest in Sheridan all of a sudden? That's a good question. Going good. I'm starting to think this is one of Alistair's attempts to keep us apart again. Look, Luis, you probably won't want to hear this. But as your friend, I have to say it. Look, you need to accept that for now, Antonio is still Sheridan's husband. Look, he loves her very much, and he's only doing what he feels is best for Sheridan right now. And maybe her being in a psych ward is what's best for her right No, it's now. not. The hell it is, Sam. Look, Luis, just hear me out. 
Okay, look, the bottom line is you're a cop, sworn to uphold the law, not take it in your own hands. So you can't do anything illegal like bust into the psych ward with guns blazing to free Sheridan. Look, all you can do right now is wait for Ethan's motion to be heard by the court. And hope that in the meantime, Antonio does right by Sheridan. No. Oh. There's no way, Sam. Antonio has been away from Harmony for too long. He doesn't know all the horrible things that Alistair has done, especially to Sheridan. You know, he thinks that uh, the old man's trying to do right by his daughter. Well, he's not. In fact, he hates his daughter, and he always has, ever since he blamed her for his wife's death. You're right about that, Luis. Alistair hates Sheridan, his own daughter, with a passion that we will never be able to understand. Julian told me that Catherine died prematurely. Her health was in decline way before Sheridan was even born, but giving Alistair a second child just exacerbated her condition. And for all of his wealth and power, Alistair wasn't able to save Catherine. And somehow, his anger and frustration at losing Catherine got all twisted up, and now he blames Sheridan. It's, Sheridan is a living reminder of his dead wife. You know, it's... It's as if he blames Sheridan as much for being alive as he does for Catherine's death. And my point is that, well, I could see Alistair rationalizing killing Sheridan as avenging Catherine's death. You no, know, it's not like he hasn't tried before. Now, Sam, you know I blame him for that boat explosion in Bermuda. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. Anyway, Antonio may not be able to fathom a father hating his own child, but you know it's true, Luis. So if you love Sheridan, then you had better get to that hospital and get her out of there tonight. Luis, don't let what Ivy said about Alistair drive you to do something stupid. Even if Alistair has influenced Antonio, it can only be up to a point. Now, you know your brother loves Sheridan. He'd never let anything happen to her. I'm not saying he would. I am saying that if Alistair is involved in Sheridan's commitment in any way, then she is in real trouble. My gut tells me the same thing. No matter how much Antonio loves Sheridan, even if he thinks he's doing what's best for her, if Alistair is involved, then she is in terrible danger. Ivy, don't get Luis worked up, okay? You know... No, I am not. I am not. Sam, I am telling you the truth. Alistair is a master manipulator. He will say anything, do anything to get what he wants. He cheated us out of our love so that I would marry Julian and, and breed heirs for his filthy empire. That man is evil. He is pure evil, and I know firsthand. Now, you listen to me, Louise. If Sheridan... If you love her, and I know that you do love her, then you had better get her out of that hospital tonight and away from Alistair before it's too late. <laughs> 